internal indicator holder. Before we get started, if you just want to 3D print this, there is STL files listed in the links below. If you have this style of internal grinder, it's very difficult to put an indicator on because a lot of the surfaces are rounded and some of them are non-magnetic. So that's why I came up with this idea. To solve this problem, what I did is I designed a fixture, or I'm going to design a fixture, that clamps onto the grinder wheel mount arm here and will encompass the actual grinding tip or the grinding wheel and then in front of that <clears throat> will be an indicator mount that mounts the indicator on so I can get it exactly on center by rotating until my indicator reads zero and then I can move the table back and forth which has the head on it to get the uh, angle when I set the angle up to do the internal angle. This is my basic design concept. Okay, so this is what it looks like assembled, not fully assembled. So what we have here is this piece will fit over top of the grinding arbor arm or the grinding shaft. And there'll be two bolts here that'll be glued in eventually. And then two screws that push in and lock this area right here onto the shaft. And the head of the grinder or the grinder wheel itself will be encompassed here. And then I will have my indicator come out here. The indicator is offset because the indicators that we're using are cheap and they're, they're offset. So I put that into the actual fixture. And then this guy here will be able to move and it'll be clamped in. This is what it looks like when you load it into the 3D printing software. I've taken my 3D model that I have in SolidWorks and saved it as an STL and imported it into my slicing software which looks something like this guy here so if we turn it around it has a shop and math on it comes around if we look at it from the bottom side so basically there's a reason behind why I did all of the curves here and all of these angles here they don't need to be on there what they are there for is so that when I do my 3D printing I can't have a square or be printing into outer space so when I start, I figure out where I'm going to actually have extensions come up, and I try and put them on a 45, and they print out relatively well. Um, same with the bolts here. When I put the bolts in, I could have had them going the other way, but I purposely put them this way so that when I make them, or when they get 3D printed, that there's no sagging inside. Uh, this guy printed out pretty well, as you can see in the photo. Um, let's try slicing now. Let's preview our slice. Let's get a little bit nicer top view here. So that was the first ring around. There's no build up. And you can zoom in and see where you're going to have problems. Right here we're printing into outer space so we might have a little bit of problem here. If I were to have brought that radius out all the way to the edge there wouldn't be any issues. Along here there won't be any issues. Okay, let's print it. Indicating the part in the four jaw chuck. I deleted the background noise because the shop was extremely loud and some guy was hammering. Uh, so basically this piece will flex so it can do an internal and external feature on your part. Uh, it clamps on easy, it slips over the shaft. All we have to do is tighten down these uh, two screws here. It'll lock onto the shaft with clearance for the grinding head or grinding wheel. Rotates around and the indicator will pivot. This is what the setup looks like when you do an internal hole and all we have to do is flex the indicator tip to do the external. I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget that the STL files are 
listed below. If you have any recommendations how to make this part better, or if you have any ideas for other parts that we could make for the shop, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear about it. Please leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below as well. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. It'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great night.